Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Uh, last we left off, we just completed one of the um, main quest line story quests. And um, let's go ahead and go to the room of requirement and do a harvest of everything and pet our critters. And we will move into, I don't know, might do some side quest type things like... Um, Merlin Trials or Ancient Magic, something like that. We'll see. Oh yeah, we got a lot to pick up, a lot to do. Like Might even have something to... You when you have a moment. Oh yeah, forgot about Deke wanting some attention. Maybe we'll do that before we do anything else. Um, just keep looking around, see if there's anything else we want to grab. I'm really happy with the renovation that I did um, in our room of requirement. I love these giant candles. And having less stuff around will make me have uh, more space for other kinds of decorations and stuff. But I think I'll wait a little bit longer before doing more decorations since we have um, plenty to go. I'm going to put some fertilizer on the chomping cabbage and let's see how we're doing on mandrake. Yeah, let's get on the chomping cabbage for sure. And I think we need it for the ventacula. Probably be a good idea. By the time we come back, we're gonna need it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Focus potion is kind of low. We don't have any dug bog tongue, so we may rely on the other things. Um, so let's do our vivariums, and we'll come talk to Deke in a minute. You just gotta be patient. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't think I have stuff assigned, so let's go with this. There we go. Go, little buddy. Okay, let's see who else. Okay, this guy should be ready. Come on, line up. Get your pets. Get your food. That right, little flooper. Let's see, are we already. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Hippogriff. Oh, now they hate me. Is this an accident? It means Zappy. There you go. Oh, this pesky we already collect. Nope. Okay. Hopefully this hippogriff is forgiving me. Okay, I think it's getting food. Yep. Somehow this measle still hasn't had any food yet. Crazy. Okay, how are we use ready? And let's see. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, so it looks like we have another Puskeen over here that we need to summon. Uh, let's see, where'd you go, little buddy? Okay, and I'll brush this one too. Okay, and what else do we have? I think that's everybody. I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Oh, another mission. Cool. Don't worry, Deke. We didn't forget about you, buddy. Okay, similar pattern here. We'll brush everybody first. There you go. Let's see who else is there. Ah, oh, yeah. Our little Irondale Pilferer. Okay. Um, I think there's a dropper and all that we're missing. Come here, bird. Let me love you. 
Here's the like, other Niffler. And let's see, somebody's probably had food by now. Yeah, there we go. Come here, little deer, Paul. Oh, it needs brushing. I thought I already brushed it. I totally misinterpreted its symbols. There we go. Oh, there we go. Did we get everything? Uh, let's see, there's a jobber knoll that needs feeding still. Where did it go? There it goes. And is that everything? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go see Deke. See what he needs. Spare a moment. Deke has an idea to share with you. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen uh, so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then, you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Okay. Well, we could totally do that. Now, Foul of the, Foul of the Dead makes a lot more sense for the mission title. Let's go over to Hogsmeade and get our spell. I think I've got the Thestrals I need already, so that's good. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, nice. The winter layout. Oh, cool. It's the first time I've seen it. I forgot that we transitioned over to winter. Um, Nice. Just because you know too much. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Let's look at what we have, shall we? All right, the be breeding pen spellcraft. Now we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Okay, and let's warp back. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Ah, oh, yeah. The vivarium location suite. The swamp. Deke 
never grows tired of the room's surprises, we now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Revelio. Oh, let's see. I guess this is a new area of customization. Um, let's go in here and check it out first. Yeah, this botanical lit up. And we're gonna do this one. Oh, here's a bunch of stuff to take up. Gotta get it all match. Okay, it's already on botanical. Okay. How about this one? There we go. Botanical, botanical. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. There I this one. This doesn't look very botanical to me. Alright. Go ahead and get rid of this too, and we'll uh, rearrange things here in a bit. But this floor isn't botanical. There we go. Um, what other pieces? Maybe the ceiling? There we go. Okay, I think I got everything now. Um, so we need to go in this one and retrieve our Thestrals. So let's move them. Professor Howen will never believe this. Okay, very good. And into the swamp you go. Oh, this is huge. Okay. How do we use it? Oh, look at this little creepy, almost voodoo doll looking thing. Um, let's see. There we go. Ah, so we have to breed, I guess, 10 unique beasts. Okay. So, Revelio. before I step out of here, I'd like to explore it a little bit since I haven't spent any time in this swamp vivarium yet. Um, I'm sure there'll be a small gift or two to get. It's nice and creepy, I like it. I wonder how long the beating takes. Maybe it shows on that sign. Rebellion. Oh. I guess you can't really jump up there. Kind of looked like you could, but maybe not. Hmm. I can see one more treasure back there. Come on, little toadstool. Revelio. Yeah, now I'm supposed to get up there. Weird. Maybe I had to climb this other rock first, and there's a way to jump over, perhaps. Honestly, I have no clue. Ah, okay, here we go. I guess I gotta climb up this part. Yeah. Okay, and looks like there's a little bridge here. Rebellion. Ah, okay. 
Let's see, I, I suppose I can jump this gap. Oh, I didn't think I'd make it. A low wall, okay. There's some more leeches to collect. Revelio. This is a dead end. Let's uh, loop back around and see what we can do. Um, hmm. Ah, okay. It's going to take 27 minutes. Okay. Now I know. Oh, look at this crazy thing. I bet he can't pull that sword out. That'd be really cool. Rebellion. I feel like there could be something else out here too. Ooh, look at this creepy area. Oh, it's the exit. <laughs> All right, well, I think I got everything, anyways. Um, wonder if this wall needs transformation. Yeah. Now, what about the second? Okay. Um, I think I've already done that, so, got this thing. There we go. And Evanesco that, and let's see, I'm pretty sure that these are permanently fixed. That's on the wall. Okay. Alright, nice. So that's a lot less stuff hanging around. Um, let's look. It's going to take 20 something minutes to finish doing the breeding. Um, so I think that there's no point in hanging around much longer. So let's go to quest and we'll, I guess, leave it selected, but we can go do other things for a little bit. Um, yeah, let's go to the world map. And where do we want to start? Maybe like way out here, do this infamous web. That could be fun. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Interesting. It's a no-fly zone, too. I wonder if I'm not meant to take this one on yet. I can see that being the case. Hmm. Come out before I... You've been enough to... Start with the zappy zap. Enjoy stealing hippogriff. It's very honest. You may have thought we'd forget about that goblin helm you nicked. Oh, I should probably press the dodge button. Or use Protego properly. There we go. Oh, I think I let him hit me. Slippery little break up. Huh? Oh. Where did this one come from? Actually, I think she was hitting earlier. Oh, there's somebody that's invisible. This is a glitch. Oh. Ouch. Did I do 5,000 damage falling? Wow. 
I need to keep an eye out for good environmental damage like that. That was um, probably a great one for Confringo or something. Or Defendo. I bet it would have worked as well. Oh, hello, kitty. What are you doing in the middle of this war zone? You may have eluded me now, but you'll pay the price for it next time. Is that Kango? Head in the clouds! Confringo! Expelliarmus! Head up, son! She wasn't much of a challenge. Hopefully this neck on him is something worth keeping. Keep on puff skiing out for Roberts. Sick of hearing him complain about his sinuses. One swipe of a puff skiing tongue will clear out a bogey the size of a bludger. Rebellion. It's pretty funny. Okay, looks like we've got several bags of money that we need to get. Um, let's get back over here. And... Okay, can't land. What about over here? Nope. Revelio. Hmm. Can we open this door? Nope. Alrighty then. Um, it's back here. More money. Oh, how did that miss? <laughs> Alright. Hey. Hello, nice. Hamora. Soon as is a glitch, away it's rendering. All right, get in my bag, buddy. Cage beast cannot be rescued. Um, why not? There's no way to get him out. I'm getting stuck here. So I don't understand. I um, wonder if I need to go up there and defeat that enemy and then maybe I can rescue them. Yo there! Stop! Arrest the momentum! Glacier! Confringo! Here we go. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelio! Now let's try. Confringo. Hmm. Almost looks like something could use repair on. Well, um. Oops. Let's try repair on this one. Hmm, does that get us anywhere? Maybe the jumping over Rebellion. there? Yeah, that's gotta be what that's for. It doesn't matter because I'll just fly over there anyways. Um. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get the money. And we will light that up and keep going. It's like another... Oh, there's a fill guide over here. Rebellio. Okay, nice. Rune spore egg. Roots through the mouth of the three-headed snake. Rune spore eggs are known to enhance mental agility and as such are often used in potions. 
I want to need that block up here. Revelio. This doesn't look like it really gets me anything other than closer to uh, the enemy that was over here, perhaps. So I think that the one that was on the stand was like right here. So. I'm not seeing an obvious need for the uh, block that's there. Let's keep looking though. I won't spend too much more time out here. I'm just really curious. This does look like a chest here, doesn't it? Oops. Just trying to call my whip. Oh, okay. We'll go here then. Rebellion. Too bad I can't rescue those animals. I just, like I said, I don't understand why uh, you can't take them out. Um, let me Google this real quick because I'm really curious. There's got to be some way. Like, why would they put a Alohomora lock on it? person said to try using Accio and others say that it doesn't work but we'll try. Ah uh, yeah, this gate's not going to stay open anyways. Accio. Yeah. Okay, well I guess that they are just kind of stuck here. <laughs> um, let's see about getting into this last little area here. Collecting our money. Um, just curious how it's set up in general. So somehow, it's a way to get up there and get those two bags, but ah, I don't want to worry about it. Let's see about other things in the area. Two Merlin Trials. Just hop on our broom and head on over. Oh, wait, there's something up here. Gotta get that. Ah. Uh -huh. Revelio. Six destructible. Oh. Okay. There's one of those like bellows type things. There's more stuff over here too. This gotta be part of a mission or something. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think this has to be part of a mission, because it's not going to let me get up there. Um, let's go see what's over here. Oh, this is the place I've already been to, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it totally is. Um, the one where I rescue the hippogriffs. Revelio. So, those two treasure chests that I haven't been able to claim yet? Oh man, what a bummer. be anything in there. Let's see if we can make our way over. Okay. 
Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Right, so far so good. Revelio. Okay, these are a little bit of a ways away. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I could bring that block up with me. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. That may give me enough of a float to uh, pull this off. Wingardium Leviosa. There we go. Oh, it just disappears. Revelio. Well, what do you know? Huh. It's problematic. Um, interesting. Revelio. How do we get around that problem? Indeed. But I don't have like a hook shot that I can use to get up there, like Link from Legend of Zelda. Um, nothing back here. At least I don't believe so. That would help me. Wait, is this a door? No, I can't go out. Okay, let's try. Let's keep looking. There's gotta be something. Ah, it's a Lohomora. Alohomora. Ah, no wonder I didn't get it last time. Made ivory glows and a golden silk robe. Revelio. All right. Uh, let's see if there's anything else in this. I don't think that there are any items left. Okay. Um. Gotta get pretty close to time on our breeding. Um. Maybe we'll go back to the room of requirement here in a minute. Identify our clothes and. Uh, sell our stuff. We still need to run down the clock a little bit. I don't think anything's going to be an update. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to the room of requirement. This place has been pretty thoroughly searched. Just want to double check that I didn't miss anything. I think I do want to take the hat off for now. We'll make it invisible. This guy's gonna think my character is a little bit hidden underneath it. Um. Okay. Wow. So this level thirty should be an update once we get um it on the loom. I think that, that will be good. And what about here? Extraordinary. Uh, let's see, uh, level 27 up to 30. Um, overall, that should be better, I think. So let's take it over to the loom. Oh. Here we go. Okay. And what else we have? Um, like, is it this? No. There we go. Okay, let's go back and compare them. I think that everything worked out to where it ended up being better on both of those pieces. The neckwear and the outfit. Yeah, good. So we got overall eight more points on the defense on that one. And plus five defense on this one. Actually, I might have got that backwards. I think that might have been offense on the neckwear. Let's 
double check. Yeah. All right, and we completed the challenge, or maybe got a new one. Let's see. The Highland Explorer Garb. Cool. If we remove a requirement, what do we get? The Legendary Masquerade Mask. Oh, that's if you get all 10 uh, unique beasts done. Okay. And let's zoom through our collections. It's been a little while since we've cleared it out. Here's somebody. Tempest Thorn. That's the person we just took out. Clinical and cruel. Tempest Thorn was trapping and carving up beasts for profit long before she left Hogwarts. One of the first to join Rookwards criminal empire under her gaze the poachers have risen from scramblers to a sturdy operation well she looks mean doesn't she okay oh looks like I missed something else where is it oh here we go Highland Explorer garb I'm guessing there's at least one more thing in here nope The breeding pen. Oh, something else too. A low wall. And there's even more. Let's go to the bottom. I really wish that you could filter by uh, unviewed or something. Well. I don't know why, but it's always hard for me to see what the new things are. Maybe I scrolled it. Oh, I guess I did. Okay. Guessing there's one for the newest vivarium, maybe? I don't know, it's that moon spore egg. Okay. Jolly good. Excellent. Okay, and I guess let's go see how our breeding is progressing. Um, I'm gonna use this up so we can get another one brewing for free. Ah, it's 10 minutes, okay. I'm gonna set a timer on my watch so I don't forget. Alright, good. We're gonna fill up on a couple things here. Alright, nice. Chinese chomping cabbage. Um, we're just three away and one away on Mandarake. So that won't take long at all. Alright, good, good. And let's see about clearing off another thing or two on the map while we're waiting for our breeding to finish. Hmm. Here's an ancient magic site. Um, let's go to it. Travel broadens the mind. Hmm. Still a fair distance away. Thought I'd be a little bit closer. Oh wow. This one's really out there. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. Who lived here, I wonder? Okay. 
Let's see. Go ahead and hop down here. Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Scared off some odd life. Rebellion. Let's see, whose shop is this over here? Oh, here's something to discover. Maceration 2. God, ah, it's an Ashwander tent. Okay, I think I've already done that one. It's got a check mark on it. Okay. Could it be a Merlin trial? Yeah, let's go ahead and get it done since it's over here. Ah, so this is on the uh, flip the cube ones. Rependo. Okay, that one is done. Where are the other two? Okay, let's see. Rependo. Let's see, is it need to go down? Yeah. Oh. There we go. Rebellion. I think this is the I think there's only three usually. Um, so we need to get this guy over. Ah, oh, this looks like it could be a single flip. Okay, it flips the Come in the forward way. Okay. Not so tricky after all, Marlin. Oh, I missed my chance to get in front of that one for the cutscene. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's see. Got about five minutes left until the breeding concludes. Let's see what else we could find. Looks like there's a treasure vault pretty close by. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Hmm. Interesting. Rebellion. How are we going to get to this one? Maybe there's a way on the ground down here? Fascinating. I have no idea how to reach this one. Hmm. Rebellion. This is a pretty sheer mountain. I'm surprised I can actually fly up this high on it. Okay. Gotta be some way to it. Just wanna look and see if I see any kind of cave system, but I really don't think it would be down this low, surely. Um, this is a interesting one. I'll at least look until my timer runs out, but I'm not seeing an obvious way into it. Um, now it could be possible there's something on the ground I need to destroy that I overlooked. Like it's a mine shaft type situation. But, ah, here we go. I bet I could repair this. Repair. There we go. B 
big brain time right there, man. Okay. I should investigate. Revelio. Oh, what's this room? Okay. Confringo. Incendio. I wonder if this requires Rebellion. bombarda or something. Oh, there we go. Just gotta walk up to him. Tricky, tricky. Very clever. Alright. Um, that just puts us a couple minutes away on the breeding, so let's just walk back out to see if there are any other nearby challenges. Seen an astronomy table. It's been a while since I've done one. I think it's already night time, so we should be able to do this before daylight, I think. Here's one of those that intruder. Ooh, okay. Enjoy suffering, do you? Lacerta. That's an easy one. How many of these balloons we need to pop? It's like five? Yeah. So just start here. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um I think it may be time to warp back to Hogwarts, but let's just fly around for a minute. Go pop some of these balloons. It's like another five, so we'll go get them. Hogwarts. Ah, another minute and a half needed. That may be just enough time to harvest a thing or two, so. I don't think I picked up my uh, chopping station stuff last time, actually. Oh, man. I'll be missing out. Uh, nothing to identify. Um, we do need to go to Hogsmeade and sell stuff. But we'll wait until the end. We'll get this quest with uh, the Thestrals completed first. Okay. Looks like maybe nothing here. Yeah. This is a little ways away. <laughs> Excuse me, got hiccups all of a sudden. Alright, I'll just go in here and hang out for a minute. Mm, not even that, it's 30 seconds. I'm gonna get to witness the uh, scientifically. Amazing birth here. I guess I need to get them a feeding pen too, or else they're not going to be very happy, are they? Um, we'll do that after the live birth here. Four, three, two, one, launch! Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there you are, buddy. Uh,. Let's see. Bloop! <laughs> oh, that was cute. 
Come here, beast. You gotta eat. You gotta eat. Okay. There you go, Petty. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Gotta harvest their stuff while they're young so they'll get used to you and produce lots of hair. Alright. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world! Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestral's Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Alright, sounds a lot like we could be heading for a quest with uh, collecting a phoenix, perhaps. I wonder if it shows up. Professor Howans? Yeah, and Shadow Discovery. Okay, so we still have some of those to do, so yeah, maybe next stream we'll do another uh stream focus on getting the demigods moons because i think that in the hog or the the highlands area there's maybe um 11 total demigod statues and i'm sure i've collected you know maybe two of them Deke thinks um, you should be proud of all the potions you brewed uh, poor deke's getting stuck on the statue oh uh, poor little guy here let me move that for you let me actually go ahead and get rid of the statue because uh like, I like it alright, but it does kind of take up a lot of space. Maybe we could put something else in this area soonish. Um, but, yeah, I'm curious if I'll be sent on a quest for that phoenix that was mentioned, like I said. Uh, let's go to the map and see if anything shows, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't yet. This is, actually, I forgot, I need to go to Hogsmeade and sell my stuff, so... We'll do that, and then we'll worry about the phoenix and the demigod's moons in another stream. Hogsmeade, here I come. Okay. Everything looks so different with this uh, winter layout. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Unbeatable Quidditch Claws. Those look kind of cool. I need to do another wardrobe run and pick out cool clothing. Might be another good next stream activity.
Thank you again for delivering those potions oh, to Madame Wowing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Okay. Nice. I hope to see you again. Farewell and for now. Let's go back to our um, dream of requirement and we'll just uh, actually we meant to go to Hogwarts. We'll start off in here and I will maybe go ahead and make another breeding pen and at least one of the other vivariums and we'll get um, maybe a species each started so that, that way we can have a little bit of progress made towards our um, achievement of breeding the 10 unique, you know, beast. So since it's pretty big, we'll put it kind of towards back here. Okay, and let's send in, I guess, the hippogriff. Okay, and we will go over into the other one and pick something else. Oh, and a matter of fact, I need to put whatever unique beast in that other one I can since I have, I think, some that haven't been assigned yet. So let's go back in here. do Niffler. Okay. And what else do we need? Um, we need to... I think we could put Mooncast in here. We'll put maybe the Toad in the other one. The Swamp one. And have we reached the limit in here? I guess we haven't. Um, one, two, three... Four, five. Oh yeah, yeah, we have reached it. Okay. Um, maybe we'll put the unicorn in the bright and s sunny spot, and then we'll put the uh, toad inside of the swamp. Assume. I know we've reached the limit here too. Um, I don't think I want to take any of these out though and put them in the other one. So. Yeah, we'll just kind of keep things as they are, I suppose. And we'll go back in here. All right, let's start. Actually, we need to put our toad in here. I guess we'll do the unicorn as well so that it can be roaming around having some fun, even though it's in a swamp. It did come from the Forbidden Forest, so it shouldn't be too big of a departure. I'll go ahead and collect these potions, and I think that probably puts me at a pretty good place to go ahead and pause for the day and roll credits and say thanks for watching. It's been SC Rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.